I came back equipped with an auto clicker. I set it to a modest 10, um, so it's not too over the top uh, because I'm just not really want to put my fingers and my mouse through clicking like crazy. I mean, if I need something extra, I can always uh, click some more. But uh, yeah, first of all, we have some epic gloves already. Um, some boots, let's see. Let's get more experience gain, that's better. Oh, a little bit more click damage and some intelligence. Right. So we are already uh, back at where we were, but um, it's going worse, I guess. Um, I have a bit, little bit more HP, but uh, my damage is uh, not really as high as I want it to be. So I have to use my, uh, a heal, uh, including a shield. I don't know if, uh, if sh the shield will be regenerating, but... Uh, I guess not. But yeah, it's take it takes me quite a while um, to get through those enemies. Um, and as I was uh, rightfully predicting, uh, I have an auto cast for my heal right now. That's helping me big time. So I will at least get a lot of money out of this run. Uh, but I guess that will be, in the end, the only thing I'm gaining here, because I am i think I won't be necessarily getting further than before. The autocast is, uh, is a nice touch, because uh, otherwise I probably would have died already. So, yeah. Another glove. Do I have enough to combine these? I don't know, I will find out after this enemy, because we are going to face... Oh, we get a get tarot card. Okay, that's nice. Uh, 100 gold? Uh, I don't need 100 gold. Um, my equipment losing... Uh, I, I, I don't want to lose my equipment. And uh, go back to levels will maybe save me. So oh, I will go for it. Also, it's going to be... Um, another chance to level up and find better items at this point so that's not too stupid to do <laughs> so this was the last enemy before the boss our equipment isn't too bad right now that's quite nice and if I, oh yes, I can change out my uh, body piece to combine these to a legendary one. That will actually help. Help damage resistance, dexterity, multi crit multiplier strength and HP. That's fantastic. That will help. So let's hope we are able to defeat this so I had enough uh, energy to pop my auto clicker help, and I'm gonna heal right away. But whew. nice, front slime it through. So I got two new artifacts. One is the one percent of each click has a one percent chance is going to two percent. I don't have an item like that. So we got the uh, reusable web. We already got that, and we have the. We got the Book of the Dead, it's uh, again something boosting my uh, artifacts, but I don't have one, so I will take the web itself. So right now I'm having a real tough time getting through all of these enemies because they have 15k HP. I'm somehow managing at the moment, but I'm pretty sure I won't last too much longer. But that's not bad because we have a thousand coins, so I'm ready to restart. N it would be nice to get uh, something to 
uh, that I could buy so, or research. So I did get quite a bit further than I expected because the enemies are already at 20k HP. But uh, again, I'm fairly certain that I'm going down uh, in the next time. They, the enemies are around 10 damage, probably over 10 damage because I have multiple items with damage block. So yeah, and there it is. Right. So let's see what new things we can research. We have the ice golem with uh, plus 15 base uh, energy. That's nice. We have a polar bear with 30% base crit multiplier. That's also quite good. Ba more base uh, XP bonus. Very cool. Um, base gold found and plus two max HP gained every level up. That's also very nice. Greatly improves your cursor coin attraction. Oh, that's a little bit helpful. Not that I would worry about my uh, cursor attraction. This run is fairly promising. I got uh, early on an, um, multiple uh, epic items. Also got uh, legendary boots, but I also already have to swap them off because they are better. And I have a Golem Heart. You put when you kill an enemy, gain 10% of your max HP as a bonus shield, and that is in a run where I'm going for a full strength build at 75 HP, so that is stacking. And as you can see, if you are killing them faster than they can destroy your shield, you are gaining more and more shield. I'm getting closer to the point where I was before, but um, yeah, I did actually go for a zoologist uh, build here, and thanks to multiple uh, tarot cards with uh, skill points, I have uh, maxed out my poison stacks to plus five, and also the percent poison activation speed. Very interesting part is this, because this item gives me a chance to uh, just create random equipment. Also, I just got the Petrifying Flesh. Um, it gives me a bonus uh, for every debuff stack, and since I think I have now 10 stacks of uh, poison, let's hope this boss isn't too strong. Oh, it's Anubis. And we're off. Let's go for the potion of uh, helpful autoclicks. Uh, that should bring us through Anubis quite well. Um, I'm not going for the blood vial because uh, that wasn't too good in the last try. The ice spirit doesn't sound bad. The witch's cauldron with restoring 15% of your energy. That helps if you go for the magic build, so I will go for the ice. Also, I just uh, got all my gold back. So this one is the last enemy for uh, before we reach the boss, so I will have to check my items real quick and then hope... Oh, none of them are combining. That's a bit unlucky, but... Um, yeah, let, let's hope uh, that we can uh, kill the boss with the help of the potion. And we are fighting. Let's get the potion going for the extra auto clicks. And he's melting. And I'm not again even going really into the danger zone for my HP. Quite inter interesting. And with the freeze, we won. Um, my auto-clicker was still on while going over the skills. That's a bit annoying because I don't have when you kill an enemy items. And we actually got it. We got it so often. I hoped we I would get it again because now I can lose my last artifact 
the one that is useless and gain another one. Let's see what we got. So we have a chance to slow our enemy down. We already got that once, so it's quite good. Being immune to the first hit, is it worth it? Maybe. I guess this one is a little bit laggy because 0 0.05 max HP is a little bit on the low side when you are that high up because you need a uh, hundred enemies to gain like five max HP so I think that's not gonna happen so I'm think I will go with the slowdown because that will help um, I mean it's three seconds for uh, with a three percent chance um, that, that's good enough for me right now let's see what this boss can do Oh no, we even get a tarot card. Let's go and go with the hanged woman. To gain double the amount I have right now, that's 8,000. That should give me enough money to buy everything I ever can get in this game, I think. Maybe. Let's go and also get the uh, drink going. Wow, it's actually not as close as I thought. Crazy. This time I turned off my auto clicker so I can have a look. So we have quite some interesting ones here. The fast clock, 30% um, damage during the first five seconds of the fight sounds very good because fights don't last too long actually the infinite hourglass gain one percent damage each second i don't know i'm not fighting too long the longest are the bosses i mean 285 000 hp you have to get through that but um i don't think that's with uh, all the enemies the case and the lightning rod uh it's I don't have the build, I wouldn't need to go for the magic build because 1% chance to strike enemy with 10 times your max energy. I mean my max energy is 50 so it would be 500. My crits are going up to 1500 so it's not really helpful. So I will go for the fast clock here. So I have to say this run is going quite long now so we'll resume it next time let's hope we are getting past level 70 so it's worth it to now uh take a break